My name is Christy and I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Macari, and Poshmark. And today we are going to do a super huge bins haul. So grab yourself a drink, get yourself cozy, sit down, put me on in the background and just kind of listen to the things I picked up. Um, it's going to be probably over an hour um, long haul if I had to guess. I got over 100 pounds. I don't know exactly how many pounds. Um, I got all of it cost me $129. So I'm assuming it's like right at 100 pounds because um, 100 plus pounds, my bins is $1.29. So I'm going to assume that's what, how much it was. Um, I got mainly clothes this time. A lot of times I do like to mix it up and get purses, get plus stuffed animals, get shoes, get clothes. I get all of it. Uh, but this time I was by myself. I did not have my daughter with me there to help. And so I mainly stuck with clothes. I did get two bags of shoes and I did grab a couple of purses, but I spent the majority of my time in the clothes. And most of the bins, I'm not, I don't know how you guys um, shop when you go to your bins. I am not one of those people sitting there waiting for the new ones to come out and rushing and getting in there with everybody and fighting and getting the new stuff. I like to dig through the bins that everybody else has already gone through. Um, cause peop at my bins, there's not a whole lot of resellers. Like there's very few people with carts full of stuff. Most of the people that are there are getting stuff for themselves. So the bins that are picked over are still, um, things that can be picked up because it's mainly either homeless people, um, it's teenagers for some reason and the few resellers that I do see there for some reason don't seem to get a lot of stuff. They must be very picky in what they choose or what they get. I am not. So we are going to get started showing you guys everything. Um, I'm just going to wing it on how I show you. I, I pile here, pile here, pile in front. So I'm going to start with the shoes and the purses and then go from there. So, like I said, um, I spent $129. I was there for probably nine, three, for about five hours. That's how long I was there. I wish I could stay longer, but I can't. So this purse I got um, because I forgot to look it up. Usually, I comp everything. Um, I don't comp everything but anything that's a new brand that I don't know like the Under Armour that's in here the other like real common brands I don't look up um, but anything I don't know I do so I put this in the front of my cart I meant to look it up and I did not so I have no idea if this is any good or not but it is just um, called Lena it's just like a black sort of knit crochet um, little handbag so I have no idea if that's good or not um, this I also did not look up, but I have sold um, things from this brand multiple times. And this is in very good condition. It is Canvas Crew by 31. This is the brand. So it's just a larger, like, canvas tote bag. So I will throw it in the wash because it, it is a little dirty, but I'm pretty sure most of that will come out. And then I got this. This is a vintage Peter Rabbit by Infam Infamil, I think that's how you say that name, I say that brand, Infamil, um, yeah, so yeah, it's actually really super clean inside, almost looks like it wasn't never used, and so this goes probably for about 20 to $30. This, if y'all can help me with keywords, I do not know what this thing is called, but it does say one liter, made in Spain, Right here on the front. This is leather. It's like a leather water pouch. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably handmade. I'm not sure. But that's the only thing that's on there. Is that. But I forget what these are called. So if you know. Let me know. Let's see. This is in this bag. I don't know why. This is just a new tag. Grizzlies. Knit hat. So let's see. So I got these, these are some women's Dr. Scholl's sandals. 
I did not look these up, but they're in really super good condition. They are a smaller size, but they should do okay. Any shoes that I can get, pretty much everything that you see here is going to be $1.50 or less. Probably more like $1.10 if I had to guess. So any pairs of shoes that I can get that are going to sell for $20 or more, I am totally fine with. Even less, depending. Like this here is a pair of Nike um, flip-flops. They're like a neon colored or whatever. So, but these were going for about $20. And then I got some women's Clarks sandals in good condition. These are a size nine. Also, um, I am going to link, um, I've got a new email address that is going to just be for um, anybody who watches my hauls. If there's something that you're interested in and you want to purchase, um, just send me an email to the email address that is in the description down below. And I will be able to work something out with you. We can get you the item. This is a pair of little girls Crocs. They are frozen, little blue Crocs. And they do have some of the, uh, I guess what they call Crocs, like little pins that fit in the shoes that don't normally come on the shoes, but you can buy them extra. These are some Roper brand, like a Western, Western, brand sandal. I got these. The bottoms look almost like they weren't worn. Let's see. These were, or are, let's see if I can see a size, size eights. These, a brand, I still do not know how to say this brand, but that is the name of it. A-H-N-U, Anu. These are just some um, more little sandals. It's getting towards summertime. So that's what I'm trying to pick up is more of the summery, summer clothes if I can find it. These are called Naot, N-A-O-T. Yeah, N-A-O-T. So it's size 40, made in Israel. This is what they look like. Again, the bottoms are in almost unworn condition. That's the first bag. Ooh, let's see. Let me go on to the second. So these are a pair of men's Mountain Creek, kind of like a canvas lace-up shoe. Again, the bottoms are in really good condition. These are a size. 13. Um, yeah, these seem to sell fairly decent for like $25, $30, but there's not a lot of them listed. So let's see how long those take. Let's see, these are called Hotter, Hotter Comfort Concepts. These actually had a better sell through than I expected. And then again, I try to get shoes that don't need a lot of cleaning, that aren't filthy dirty. Um, I don't like cleaning shoes, I like selling shoes. So I try very hard to get shoes that are, you know, clean already. These are called Com Comfort Well by Beacon. They're a size eight and a half. Women's slip-on shoes. Again, bottoms are excellent. These are a pair of Echo. Echo is also another really good brand. That's what these look like in the front. They are a little bit dirtier on the bottom, but still not bad. And let's see, can I find the size? So size 37. Okay, this is some women's, I'm thinking these are women's, Callaway Golf shoes. 
and they're pretty clean at the top. They are size. Uh, women's eight and a half in the bottoms. If I remember right, I saw these on the bottoms of cleats. See the bottoms are really super clean. And both of them, and from what I could tell, none of the cleats are broke. So that's why I picked those up. These are some women's Merrill. Uh, let's see, are they? It says Merrill foam. Those are their size nine. Just a nice little sandal. And again, bottoms are great. These, the bottoms are not great, but the comps were good, so I got them. This brand is called Carlson. Let's see if I can figure out the size on this tag. I swear most of my video is me looking for sizes. So these are a leather upper. I do not see a size anywhere. But they're just a nice closed toe, slip on, flat. But let's see, the bottoms are dirty, but the fronts are actually really super nice. And then these are some diesel shoes. These are a little dirtier than I like on the front, but they're so cute. Color of women's diesel sneaker. Bottoms are okay. And these are a size 7 in the US. And then one more. There's a lot of like, a lot of the shoes were really, really rough. So that's why I only got these two bags. Um, there's a lot of Dansko, but they were just beat up. But these are some women's keen sandals. Again, bottoms are looking brand new. Let's see if I can find the size on these. Looks like a size five and a half, so these are teeny. But somebody will want these. All right, that was all the shoes and the purses. Let's see, I normally get a lot of plush, but there was like almost none. And the few that I saw for the most part were really worn. But I saw this little guy and I picked him up. He is like a Triceratops dinosaur. And he is by the brand Jellycats. Jellycat, I don't know what it is about it. Um, I've had like, I've sold three or four of them. And every single one that I've listed has sold in less than a week for 20 plus dollars. So hopefully he will do the same. I did not comp him or look him up, but hopefully he will sell like all the rest. This here I did comp out. It is called Callista Tools in its own bag. It is these hot rollers. I have not checked to see if this works. I did not test it. So I will test it of course uh, before I sell it, but if it works, they are, they are comping at anywhere between 25 and 35 plus shipping. I don't have it down here, but I bought also, um, there was a Betty Crocker, like a vintage Betty Crocker um, recipe library box. So it was like these like three by five cards with pictures and a recipe and the whole entire thing was full. It's like a flip box, plastic, super heavy. Um, I'm probably going to end up, ooh, itchy, probably going to end up keeping that for myself just so I can have more recipes to cook with. And also because I don't know if it is complete or not and complete ones on eBay were going for 25 to 30 plus shipping. But since I don't know if it's complete, I'm probably just going to keep it for myself because I will like it anyway. Let's see. Like I said, I also get most of my stuff, like you see here. Everything that I got were from bins that have already been picked over and picked through by everybody else there. So, this is an Adidas woman's size medium performance fit, arrow ready 
shirt. Um, a lot of this will have to be washed. I think most of what's on here, like, I don't, you probably can't even see that over here. There's like a, some marks, but it looks like it's just like from being rubbed in a bin. So, yeah. Like I said, most of this I did not comp because for the price I'm getting it, it will sell. Also, I got really super lucky. I don't, like, I love selling pajama sets. But when you go to the bins, you almost never find both pairs of pajamas, right? Well, today or yesterday when I was there, I think I found three or four, if not more, pajama sets with both tops and bottoms. And this is one of them. It's a Nautica, Nautica women's size. Hmm. I don't see a size. Maybe the, hopefully the pants will have it. But... I have a set of Nautica pajama pants that I wear myself around the house all the time. They are super, super soft. Um, the pajama pants, these ones that I have, have pockets. I didn't check to see if these have pockets. Where did these ones go? Do -do -do -do. Oh, no, I can't find them. I thought they were all together. Oh, there they are. So here's the pants, and it says they're size extra, extra large. But yeah, they have pockets on the sides. They're actually really good deep pockets. I hold my cell phone while I'm walking around the house. These are really cute. Like I said, really super soft. Love them. Those are a little bit big for me. If they were my size, I'd probably keep them. This is a Victoria's Secret pink size small hoodie. It's got this little thing here on the side. I'm thinking this might be vintage. I'm not sure. There is the tag. Oh, it's just an extra small. And it is missing the uh, thing in the hood, the string from the hood. But again, there are some brands people will not pick up because they don't think they sell or they, you know, I am not like that. Victoria's Secret will sell all day long if you price it right. There are a lot of brands, also uh, J. Crew is another brand that I pick up all the time. I, every single one I get, I sell, usually within a couple of weeks, definitely within 30 days um, because I price it right. You can't go pricing J. Crew. The price that they want in the stores you have to definitely list it for less this is a nike size large men's track net and it does have zippers down here to open it up in really good condition um, another thing you'll notice that I really like to sell are scrub tops, or scrubs in general. This is a size small, 24-7 um, comfort, just a nice cute little owl pattern on there. Their um, scrubs do not sell for a ton, but they're great filler, bread and butter. I sell multiple each and every week. These I just got for my son. They're just a pair of Fila. Blue shorts. He will only wear shorts even in the dead of winter. So these are for him. Let's see, this is um, a Valcom or Volcom shirt. It is a men's size extra large. It's a nice look polo t-shirt with their logo right there. I do not know if their shirts sell as well as their shorts. Their shorts do sell very well. I sell them all the time. I do not know if those shirts will. I did not comp it, but whatever. These are just some little boys Jordan shorts. Again, I don't know if they will sell very well or not, but they weigh nothing, so they didn't really add anything to my thing. Um, this I do not know if it will sell very well or not. Um, the 
brand. Ooh. I think I cut myself. So the brand is Mondetta. It is a like track jacket. Um, let's see the cuffs. It does have the thumb holes. And it's also got the cuffs to go over your hands if it's cold outside. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I know what size it is. The tag on the inside is pretty much worn out, but it looks like a large, if I had to guess. It's kind of like a greenish blue color, full zip. Have pockets, yep, it's got nice good pockets. It's got the little the little thing down there. Let's see this. I thought it was really cute. I didn't comp this either. It's an MPG size extra small razorback. Kind of like a golf dress. It's got pockets in it. She had a really big pocket. Let's see. Yeah. But it's really cute. Again, like I said, I don't know if this will sell very well, but I couldn't leave that. Here's another scrub top. Again, when I get scrub tops, especially if I get them from the bins, I don't care what brand they are. As long as they're just a cute print. This is called Cassandra O. Nice little floral print. Now, if I am getting um, scrubs from the thrift store, I do look at the brands because it's usually two to four dollars per piece. But this is just a pair of cuddle duds, size extra small pajama pants. Cuddle duds is sold at Walmart. When I first started selling them. I did not know they were sold at Walmart, but they still sell. I do not, I, I almost never sell Walmart branded clothes or clothes that are sold at Walmart, but those sell. So this was also in a picture bin. Somebody else actually threw this back. And I don't know why, but it's an Eddie Bauer, was it Weather Edge? It says it somewhere. Yeah, an Eddie Bauer Weather Edge jacket. Pockets on the front. It's actually a Weather Edge Plus, if that makes any difference. I don't know. It's a size large. Men's. So it is a men's size large. Um, let's see. It looks like it had at one point, it did have a hood zipped on it but I don't have the hood so maybe that's why the person threw it back because there was no hood but it's in really good condition this is a pair of Dickies women's scrub top also I just thought it was cute Dickies is also sold at Walmart so this won't sell for much more than seven or eight dollars but I'm fine with that this is a Wrangler men's uh, looks like the size is missing if I had to guess it's like a medium or a small so just like a men's long sleeve pearl snap shirt this I only got because of the color if I get scrub pants I do not usually get the style. I try to get the jogger style, the yoga style. I do not normally get the style that just has the tie waist. And these are only Cherokee. But I figured maybe around Halloween somebody would want a nice orange pair of scrub pants. So I threw them in. This is just a shirt I got for my daughter. It's an Old Navy size 14. She's a size 10, 12. Right now, so hopefully this will fit her next year. It's a long sleeve, cute top with some snowflakes on it. This is also something else that I don't know if somebody threw it back or it was just sitting right at the top of a bin that other people had all just gone through and they moved on to something else, but they don't maybe they don't know anything about it. This pair of scrub pants. 
by the brand Figs. Fig is a very good um, scrub pant. There. Is there like a weird pocket here? Yeah. So there's actually like a, I'm going to assume it's like a security. So in the inside of here, there's a pocket. And it's got symbols on it, like ring, key, money. So there's like an inside pocket specifically for your money. Or your ring if you need to take it off while you're at work. But yeah, there's a these are a size large pair of women's um, scrub pants. They are dirty, but most of the, all the dirt like has like a footprint. So you just throw this in the washer, and it will come clean. It's just dirt from the bins that are on there. There's no actual stains. Uh, I don't normally get t-shirts. I don't like selling t-shirts, but. I was just in the mood. This is Avenged um, Sevenfold 2010 Tour T-shirt. Just a size, uh, I think it's a size small. Yeah, size small. I don't normally do T-shirts. This I got for myself. It's just that I need a day between Saturday and Sunday. Um, just the brand that sold at Walmart. Was it Secret Treasure? Yeah, Secret Treasure. Just a pajama shirt. Uh, let's see. This is a Nike. Let's see. Nike Thermal Thermal Fit or Thermo Fit. Women's size medium. Hooded zip up jackets. Yep. It's also got the thumb holes. And it's got good pockets. I've never seen a Thermo Fit. I've seen dry fit, I've seen the heat gear or the heat whatever they have or whatever. No, this is a pair of scrub pants. This is the style I normally like to get. Um, if you guys watched my last haul, I actually had this exact same pair, same color, same everything. Um, yeah, this is a size medium, spread good cheer. So yeah, those are the kind of scrub pants I normally like so. Oh, let's see. Let's get some jeans. These are some women's Wrangler jeans, size five six. They're in super good condition. They've got the nice W's with the uh, rhinestones and the embroidery on the boot. These are some Levi's. Um, size 28. I'm thinking these are men's, but I'm not sure if men's have them like this, but yeah. I think it's the men's. Levi's, like I said, size 28 is a button fly. Um, I don't know if these are vintage or not. I don't think so. I just think they're a little bit older. And these, man, my mouth is so dry. These are Old Navy Original Mid Rise Tall jeans and they're size 18. Always get the plus size. Especially when they're in what looks like almost pretty much brand new condition. So yeah, I know I'm going through this kind of fast. But I'm trying to make it not an hour. These are some Bonobos. Size 36, 34. Pants are like a black Blackish gray, got all this purple, purple pockets, purple pockets in the back. Really, really good quality, good condition. Let's see, these are like a pair of yoga pants. I don't know if they're really good or not. I got two pair of the same size. I'm probably going to lot them up. The, the comps didn't look great for price, but they're called Offline by Airy. They're size small. We have this like extra tall waist line on them. They do got pockets on both sides. They go along like this and kind of got the jogger style bottom. These are a pair of J. Crew jeans, size 29 tall. Just deferred. I like the wide, the wide leg. I'm actually thinking with the 
right there. These might be vintage or an older style. Yeah, there's an Old Navy Rockstar jeans. Really good condition, a little bit distressed. These are just a pair of boys Nike swim trunks. This is a pair of Joy Lab. What size are these? Joy Lab size medium. Pair of leggings. All right, this I could tell. Never heard of this brand. I looked it up because it looked, it felt nice. It had the this little bottom metal thingy on here, which usually means it's a better brand. The brand is called Neon Buddha, and for a tank top, the price was higher than what most of my stuff sells for, so picked it up. These I got for my daughter. She probably won't like them, but whatever. The Get Fit dry size large pair of leggings which probably won't like them because i'm assuming this is like star wars design on the front and on the back but again if she doesn't like it they're really nice and will hopefully sell this is just a chico's size three nice light floral top and this I didn't look up. I know the brand sells for a lot. I don't know if this will. But these are L.L. Bean Classic Fit, size 14. Women's, just some plain colored khakis. This felt really super nice. This is super soft. If it was my size, I would keep it. But it is a Rachel Zoe, a Rachel Zoe. Los Angeles, size large, open front, long sleeve cardigan. And with the way it feels, I figured it would be made out of something different, but it's 75% nylon, 15% viscose, and 10% BBT, whatever that means. So, and it says a hand wash. So, really nice. I have more jeans than I planned on getting, but when they're there, this is just Style & Co. Ankle. They probably won't sell for much more than $10 or $12 plus ship. They have this cute little embroider spot on the bottom. So that's why I got them. Again, this was just sitting on top. Somebody put it back. I looked it over doubly just because somebody did put it back. But it's a Columbia size <clears throat> extra large. Just a woman's top. I actually may keep that for myself. Let's see. If it fits and I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll sell it. That's another good thing about going to the bins is you can find all kinds of good stuff for yourself. So this is called Under Armour. This is Under Armour, but it's called Threadborn. So it's Under Armour, Threadborn, woman's hoodie, Hoodie. I think it was a size large. Is that what I said? I don't remember if I said it. Yep, size large. So that's in really good condition. It's got like a tie at the bottom. This here's another t-shirt. Just a poison. 2018. I won't sell for much more than like 10. This shirt is an anthro. I believe it's an extra small Clue plus Willoughby. And it's this up front here. And then it's got this tie in back with that there. There's the exact same one that just sold on eBay. Um, I can't remember if it was used or new for 30. So I figure if it was new and it sold for 30, I could probably sell this for like 20. If they sold it used for 30, then of course I'm in the higher 20s. 
This is an Ocean Drive size small hoodie. I think it's kind of cropped, or at least it's on the shorter side. These um, don't sell for a ton, but they do sell. And they sell pretty fast for me. They're Kirkland size 12. They're like a zip up, kind of like a hiking pant. They got like the zip up zippers right here. And they got like a little pull string at the bottom to be able to, you know, tighten the hem. So, yeah. These are some women's Levi's. Supreme Curve. This is Supreme Curve black jeans. Now you guys will think I'm silly, but that's okay. If I find them at the bend, I will buy them. I don't buy them anywhere else. But doggy clothes. So this is like a D dog. Like a dog's hoodie. And then this is just a shirt that says, Comet, Comet Me Bro. Like, come at me, bro. So, you know, not a whole lot. You know, 10 bucks or so. But this is an Adidas Climber Warm knit hat. Put that with the other knit hat. This is another J. Crew. And I don't know. It does have a small stain here on the front, which I'm pretty sure will get off. It does not look like it's, like, in. But it's called J. Crew um, Multi Gliss, size small. And it's just a vest with zip pockets. Okay, and then this, I don't know. These is you saw, it's called Ariat. It's an Ariat Pro Series, extra, extra large men's. Button down shirt, long sleeve. Really good condition, nothing wrong with it that I could see. So I don't know if those, what those will sell for. Um, these are some women's size two. Just some little small Lululemon pants. I don't know how much these will sell for. Lululemon for me has not been selling for a ton. It still sells, kind of like the Victoria's Secret. It sells, just not for a lot. Then they got a whole bunch of these. So I'm going to lock them up. I don't normally buy this brand, but there's a whole bunch of it. I probably could have bought more of it. I passed up a whole bunch of it first. And then I started seeing more of it and more of it. And I'm like, hey, I could just lock these up. So these are LuLaRoe leggings. So I got this pair here. They got little kissy lipstick print all over them. Then I got this pair here, which is just a bunch of, is it fruit? Or just flowers and vines and whatever. Just, yeah. Just a whatever. Floral, floral, florally type. Same thing with this. This is just a LuLaRoe legging also. So I'm going to list all three of these together. Maybe for like 25 plus ship and see what I get. And then this, I don't know. It's called Bula, is the brand. Um, most of the hats seem to be selling for decent. So it's like one of those trapper hats. And it's got these really big pom-poms at the end of it. It is pretty dirty, so I will put it through the wash and hope like that comes out. And another thing on the front. But I believe it was 100% acrylic. No, I can't read in this light. But either way, figure about a $20 bill if the stains come out. So that was this first pile. Well, now we're on that pile. More scrubby tops. This is a green town size large woman's, like a polka dotted scrub top. What's this? Is this another T? Yep, it's another T. It's a Thrasher, 
T from San Francisco. And I can't read that. Any of you guys know what that is? I've seen it before. But yeah, it's just a size small brasher t shirt. Now the light is starting to come in from that window behind me. It's getting ridiculous. This is a Burst Bees Baby, size medium, pajama top set. So we have the top there. And, and then we got the bottoms there. See how lucky I got? Never do that. Also, my favorite brand of pajamas to sell is Monkey Monkey. These are a women's size medium with the skis on there. And I got the top. There we go. Yep, size medium. Top in good condition. Let's use another one that I got. Called PJ Salvage, size medium. I didn't look up any of these pajamas. I got the tops and the bottoms. So if I can sell the two together for like 15 plus ship, I am all about it. So yeah, I know it's in here somewhere. I'll find it. This. Did I find the brand of this? Was it in the top? Okay, it's called Richie House. And size large. The button up long sleeve shirt and then the pajama pants to go with. Let's see this another t shirt. It was Palmer Cash apparel size extra large. It says Salmon River Brewery on it. So I didn't look that up either. See, this is another scrub top. It's called NRG by Barco Stretch. It's got a lot of little butterflies on it. So it's nice. So it's nice small. Yep, it's nice small. Got like a little zipper detail on the front. And the pockets in the bottom. I thought that was super cute. These pair of pants. Is it pants? No. There was this, but I got. No. This is another um, Iguana Med size small shirt see that not a zip up pocket but this one here also has like the Heidi pocket on the inside to be able to put like your your wedding ring or whatever if you need to take it off for work this is a pair of khakis and co outdoor um, Capri pants. I only mainly, I didn't look these up, but I got them because they are a definite plus size. I think it was a size 24. Yeah, size 24W. They're like a nylon, very, very light interior. They got like this ruching on the side that you can take down or put up. See, this was an Old Navy Luxe shirt, long sleeve. Let's see, these are a proper public safety, kind of like a tactical khaki pant. So, I mean, there's like pockets all over this thing from top to bottom everywhere even like on the back back here in the back then it's got like the reinforced booty seam there see that so yeah I didn't look these up either I just grabbed them they're a size 34 long let's see this I got they did not have very good comps but um or, oh yeah I just saw a little hole in the armpit so I will probably redonate this because 
around here this brand sells for a pretty good amount and it is a woman's pearl snap sort of like a burnout looking material also and it's got metallic in there so it's really super cute but comps online were not very good for it even though around here this shirt would probably sell for about forty dollars new um, the brand is called cowgirl tough it is a size large but it does have a small little hole in the armpit so that may be a wash let's see this is an rbx performance size small as well i just really like selling workout gear performance gear it sells decently like i said not for a ton of money but it sells a lot these are girls disney size extra large 16 18 for girls just some um disney mickey pants mickey mouth pants he's all in pieces for some reason somebody needs to put him back together like humpty dumpty this is a victoria's secret size small burnout type shirt it says love on the front there again not much more than 10 bucks but hey this is a scrub top called ua scrubs simply more choices so yeah it's got the big pockets on the front whatever some of these even though they're different brands if they're all the same size and they're older brands or brands that aren't as popular i might let those together and just sell them in a woman's scrub lot this is just a puma sports bra i don't know what size that is these are a pair of ideology women size large pants let's say these are actually very bright almost like neon pink on here with like some gold they're actually really cute wish i could wear them these are another thing i got for my daughter they're just an adidas size 10 12 legging that's all she wears is leggings i can't get her to wear jeans or anything else just leggings her favorite brand is justice but you know you get what you get let's see what was this was this under armor or something else oh no something else um yeah i don't know what this brand is oh that's right it's reebok it's a reebok play dry is what it's called so yeah you got the reebok right there and it's just their play dry sports bra Let's see, this is just a Nike sports bra. I don't know, most of these don't even have any sizes or any anything. They're just sports bra. Hmm. Let's see, last sports bra, I think, hopefully. Let's see, this New Balance sports bra, it zips. In the front, and it's got that on the back. This one might tell me what size it is. This is medium. Here is the uh, pajama bottoms to the PJ Salvage, like a bunch of stars. Let's see, this is another scrub shirt. Yeah, this one's just a plain one, but it's called. Dagachi, D-A-G-A-C-C-I. So that might be a better brand to look big. I'm not sure. I did not look it up. But it looks like this. It's got the logo down there at the bottom. Almost done, folks. Well, this is just, this is the only bra that I found that was an actual bra. But it's just a Victoria's Secret, Body by Victoria, Perfect Shape, 34, a double D 
black lace brown in really good condition wish I could have found more bras this is Old Navy famous jeans size this slim fit size 28 30 so I don't know if these are women's or men's they look like women's to me these are a pair of Cabela's women's size 12 um, corduroy outdoor pant in a nice like maroon color they're in really good condition Cabela's is a really good brand this is just a Grand Slam men's size extra large airflow polo in really good condition I don't I would never pick this up at the thrift but Finn's prices I will pick it up this is an Under Armour Montana Grizzlies quarter zip. Shirt. I find Grizzlies stuff here all the time. It sells really well. This is another item I'm going to add to that LuLaRoe um, thing. I don't know if this is a shirt. I don't know if this is a pajama shirt, but it's got like a lipstick on the front and it's like a really big, really long shirt. It's a size medium, but I will just add that in with the leggings. I think I'll look it up and just kind of see if it's, if it does any good by itself or not. These are just some Zara men, the basic collection, um, Euro 40. So I don't know what that means. These are definitely not a men's size 40 pant. So let's see. Oh, so it's US size 31. There we go. That feels more like it. Just a nice black pant. These I got because of the booty. These are Christopher Banks size 16 pair of jeans really good condition and then they got the blingy sparkly booty so that's why I got those this is another scrub pants scrub top or yeah, scrub pant it's called Lux um, I have no idea what the actual brand is I don't know if that's a brand or not um, but it says size large And it just has that on the side. Right there. It does have some stuff on the booty, but I think that will come out in the wash. Now these here are some more scrub pants. And these are sitting on the top of a bin. They were getting ready to wheel the bin out. And I just ran by and grabbed them off the top. Um, I probably could have gotten in trouble for that, but yeah. But these are just some scrub star scrub star. Scrub pants. And I'm assuming this here is to like hold tools if you need to, like your stuff, stuff the scope and whatnot. And then it's got a zippered pocket over here. These are size small. These are just some dance skin leggings. These actually sell better than what I thought. I did look those up before I bought them. These are some more Victoria's Secret, um, size large, pajama bottoms. Let's see, it says, let's go to bed on there. It's all blingy. It is missing some of the rhinestones on there for sure, but I will just mark that in the listing. They got a cute polka dot, tie waist. We'll sell those all day long. Here is another, I believe it's another one of those, yeah. The Offline by Erie, size medium. Pants. So yeah, we already saw those once. We got the exact same ones. These are some Aeropostale, size 34. Men's cargo shorts. I just sold a pair of women's Aeropostale jeans for 10 plus ship. 
took an offer. You know, sometimes it happens. Let's see, these are some duo fold, size medium, thermal underwear. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, I said about an hour. This is, I did look this up, it says Alessi, Italy. So it says Alessi on the front. And then the back it says Alessi, Italy. So I did look this up and comps are in the $20 to $30 range for that t-shirt. These are some Vigos, 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 um, Capri. These are, let's see, it has a name in here. It's called the New York, the New York Capri jeans. Some of these have actually sold for $40 to $50. There's actually one listing that's $60, but I'm not going to list mine for that. Let's see, see what size these are? Camo. Size 20. And then length size 21. So, yeah, I mean, they are a bigger size. So, yeah. I have passed on so many jeans by that brand because I thought they were not a good brand of jeans, but I guess. I was wrong. There's, these are just some boys, Under Armour, baseball pants. They're in really super good condition, like no staining on the front that I could see anywhere. So I didn't look those up. Hopefully they'll do okay, especially with it coming up to baseball season. This is a vintage thing. It's called, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Giger or Gig. Geiger, Geiger, not sure. Feels like wool. Let's see. I don't even look. I didn't even look to see if it was wool. It just feels like wool. Let's see. Pure new wool. Pure lane. I know it's vintage. Made in Austria. Let's see. Does it say size small? Because it's super tiny. Doesn't really say what size it is, but. This actually looks like it's a kid size. If it's not a kid size, it was severely shrunk. But it's vintage. It's got their little symbol there in the middle on the bottom. So I will sell that. This is just a Greg Norman Attack Life is what it says on it. A pair of men's sort of like leggings. And there's just a size large. Yeah, I didn't look these up either. This is a Disney Parks. I only had, I got Disney Resort. Yeah, Disney Resort, Adult. Um, crazy works for me. That. Again, I didn't look that up either. This is another item that somebody threw back. I don't know if it's one of the teenagers and they just decided they didn't want it, but it is a New Balance um, hoodie zip up jacket. And a lot of New Balance stuff does pretty good. I didn't look this up either. I just grabbed it. Almost done. This was new with tags. It is called C, C Sona by Cav Cavallini. That is the tag. And on this here, it says 100% vegan leather. It is like an open front cardigan jacket. And then I got this. I don't normally like to do dresses. I am not a dress girl. I actually hate selling dresses. But this was in here called packed and I only looked it up because it was organic cotton and most things with organic cotton sell fairly well this is a size large organic cotton very nice long dress it's got a nice slit up the side it is razor back in the back it's actually not coming very good across the screen but it's a nice green color almost like a hunter green or like 
Just a very nice green. These are a pair of pajama bottoms I did not find the top for. One of the very few. It's called Danielle Buckler or Danielle Butchler by Man. And it's a size extra, extra large. They're very, 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 very soft. They're like super soft. And they've even got a pocket in the back and pockets in the front. Almost done. Let's see, this is called Lucy and Laurel. Just a nice pair of pants. Very light, loose, kind of like the Bohemian larger leg style. Let's see, what was this? Oh yeah, this is a Greg Norman pair of golf pants. Those just need to be washed. And they are a size 38-30. Kind of like that nice nylon feel to them. And then, yeah, looks like last but not least is an Under Armour no tag. Looks like it's got a small stain on the front. I'll try to get that out. Yeah, Under Armour, size medium, cold gear. Buddy. So that's everything. I will count everything that I got later because I did not count it earlier to see what my cost of goods were. But that is my whole entire haul, guys. Hopefully you stuck around to the end. I appreciate any of you guys who did. Um, appreciate all of you new subscribers that are here. Welcome. Hopefully you like this kind of content. I try to do one haul video a week and one what sold video for the weekends on Mondays. So if you like that kind of content, please subscribe. Give me a like. And I will talk to you guys Monday.